everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is marcia this is coffee and plant and today we're planning out october 2020 how did we get here i don't know i feel like this year went by so fast is going by so fast and also dragging so incredibly slow but either way we're in october now or we're going into october and october is one of my favorite months because i really do love fall and I really do love the colors of fall, the oranges, the reds, the greens, like this kit. I love it a lot. So it's a nice fall day. It's a little warm for fall, but I'm looking out and the leaves, the colors are definitely changing. And it's starting to look a little bit more fallish here, which is nice. It kind of just feels like a different time. Not much has changed, but it just feels like it. And I feel like in 2020, we all kind of need to feel like it's a different time at some point. <laughs> so yeah, for today, I have a caress press kit. I used caress press last month and I was really, really happy with how it turned out. So when I saw her October kit, I knew I was going to pick it up pretty early. I did this time because I didn't want to risk not getting one. So as you can see, it's like a beautiful uh, home with fall decor the bar cart has like fall items on it the greens and the oranges and the pinks it's just right up my alley for fall i did get the deco sheet which this deco is gorgeous it even has like a little um bath and body work style candle some like starbucks style drinks a little louis planner some sweaters a bar cart i love this hello pumpkin one it's super cute then you get your other side for the top bar, your date dots, a bunch of full boxes, your washy little strips, paydays, a movie marquee. Then I have some holidays up here, a birthday one that's cute, Halloween, Columbus Day, Breast Cancer Awareness Day, a bunch of bill dues and labels. And then as always, I add on the sidebar option with the headers. And that's what that's looking like right now. So yeah, this kit is super cute. I um, love it and I'm excited to get planning in it. Of course, as always, I have my coffee with me. I'm going to take my time and, you know, get through planning October. It's not a super busy month for me, but we will see. Sometimes things just come out as you're planning it. So of course, we're going to get started with the top bar because that is always the easiest for me, in my opinion. I'm not covering up any of this, but you know, if I even if I didn't use stickers, I really do like the colors in October, but they're just so much cuter when you add the, um, when you can add the stickers to it. I'm gonna do this old trick really quick where I um, put it on my arm and then peel it up so it's just a little less sticky because it's a little intimidating when it's super sticky like that and if you need to remove it or replace it, you kind of are screwed. This one does seem a little bit too wide for this, but eh, no, nah, it's a little high, but beautiful. It just totally transforms the spread and I love it so much. So where are you guys all getting your kits from this month? Um, I also wonder how many of you do not use kits at all because I do realize uh, from Instagram that some people don't, a lot of people I follow don't actually do monthly spreads, but I really love them. So I wonder if you guys do a monthly spread or with a monthly spread kit, or do you just like use your own stash for it, which is also really cool. I've seen some really creative kits this month. There are four days from September in this week, so we're going to use this really long bar to cover that up. The AC just cut on. I hope that's okay. I hope it's not too, too loud, but it is, like I said, a little warm. So it's on a little bit. I hope it's not too distracting. But yeah, so if you use a kit for planning out the months, what kit are you using for October? And another question in regards to that is, are you going fall or are you going all out Halloween? because I did see a lot, a lot, a lot of Halloween kits. I'm just going to do the sidebar next. Yeah, are you going full out like um, Halloween? Because there's a lot of October Halloween kits. 
and I was going back and forth because I do love Halloween, but I'm not like, I don't know. I just like this one better. <laughs> I like the fall colors and themes a little bit more. And then you can like carry, I also like to carry that out. And I did this last month too. I'm going to stop this right here a little bit. Just pin it back and I'm going to add the, um, oops, hope that doesn't mess it up. I'm going to add this little washi that I forgot about last time. Yeah, I forgot about it again this time. <laughs> I kind of just need that to stay up. Yeah. Don't ask me what I'm doing y'all now. <laughs> I just need to get that out of the way so I can do the washi down here with these cute little orange washi strips she includes. They're really cute, but I kind of forgot to use them last time too. And I believe that this full box goes all the way down. So it's a little bit more annoying to do if it's already down. Yeah, because it goes a little bit over. This is a little crooked. This is why I did that first little remove layer because when I put it on my arm, because it really does make it so much easier to reposition if you need to for cross press because her stickers are removable, but they are like super duper sticky. So it can be tricky if you don't do that first little step. There we go, that's looking much better and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side add this wash in huh, so yeah we're in October I love fall fall has officially started I believe it was on I'll tell ya uh, September 22nd was the first day of fall did you or did you not have your first pumpkin spice latte of the season that is an important question. I need to know the answer. Make sure you comment it. Let me know. Did you um, did you do the first of the year? Because that's always a joyous day. I will tell you right now that I have not had a pumpkin spice latte yet. It's not because I'm crazy. It's because the pumpkin cream cold brew is something not enough people are talking about. And it's delicious. And every time I go to Starbucks, I can't not get it. It's like become a thing for me now that I have to get the pumpkin cream cold brew. I just have to. And I have not even had a chance to get the pumpkin spice latte yet because I I know what that tastes like. Now I know what the, cold, the pumpkin cream cold brew tastes like. And the pumpkin cream cold brew is just better. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand it. Um, I feel like we need to like rename the PSL season into PCC season because I really do like it much better much much better so I also want to do with this month I guess or important important will be good and I can stack other colors important's a nice and general one and then goals so yeah so I can't stop eating are getting the pumpkin cream cold brew when I go to Starbucks. And that's that on that. <laughs> so if you have had the pumpkin cream cold brew and the pumpkin spice latte, let me know in the comments which one you like better. Are you team pumpkin cream cold brew yet? Because, <laughs> And I say yet because I honestly, I think the first couple times I had it like I think I had it last year this is like not the first year it's been out I'm gonna add this little full box in this is my boyfriend's birthday and I feel like this is a fun way to mark it from all the options like these were the other options I could have used but yeah I like this one I always have to get a really weird angle to play stuff in these little boxes though it's it's annoying but that's a me thing <laughs> really cute and I guess I could just throw a sprinkle a few ones in here. I really like this Hello Pumpkin one. Maybe on Halloween. That sounds good to me. And Halloween's on a Saturday this year and it's just such a scam that the year that it's on a holiday, the year that it's on a Saturday, it is COVID and I really don't think it's gonna happen the same way, at least not in our area. And I hope if it is happening in your area that you're staying super duper safe. Honestly, I should have led with that. I hope everyone's doing really well and staying safe. 
you know, amid this whole pandemic, it's just, it's been a lot. It's no one, no one asked for this. No one saw this coming. No one knew that we'd still be talking about this. Well, you know, a lot of us knew. I kind of, a lot of us had a feeling we'd still be talking about it now, but you know, initially it was all supposed to be, you know, two weeks of shutdown, a month of shutdown. And here we are going into October and still dealing with it, which is just really sad. It's really sad for all of us. So I hope all of you guys are staying really safe and you know, yeah, basically that, staying really safe and healthy, I hope for all of you. Planning has, I really think planning helped me a lot through the first um, couple months of this. And I feel like that's funny because like, what are you planning for? You just, no one's going anywhere. And that's 100% true, but something about planning is that it does give you a sense of um, control, even if you don't have any, which I, if you're a planner, I feel like you definitely can know and relate to that. I don't think I'm gonna use this Halloween sticker because I already have this one down here and I don't really need it. But I will use a Columbus Day. I wish that she called it Indigenous Peoples Day because that's what we celebrate over here. <laughs> we do not, we do not celebrate Columbus Day, but put it down anyway. Um, and I believe this is a day off from work, so that's always fun. <laughs> But yeah, so for planning during the pandemic, I really found it to be, um, I don't know which day Breast Cancer Awareness Day is. I will add it in later because I'm recording on my phone. So I went to grab my phone and I literally just grabbed um, my phone case because it's empty because I'm filming on it. <laughs> do I want to add another box? I feel like I do want to use all these boxes because they're just so stinking cute. Maybe the 7th and the 15th would be cute. Some plaid action in there. Um, yeah, so for planning during the pandemic, I'm sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. I definitely felt like that helped me with that first month, especially when things were just like, not the first month, the first like couple months. I feel like around the time that the pandemic started, Erin um, kind of started teasing her daily duo planners and stuff like that. So I just had that to look forward to. And that kind of brought me in because I talked about it before that I was playing super regularly in 2016, 2017, even into 2018 a little bit. And then I just stopped. And it was this year that made me realize that I totally missed it and I totally needed it to have like that source of like our feeling of, you know, some type of control or awareness of what's going on in your life. I really like it for that. And it's just like become it already was one of my favorite hobbies, but it's kind of like I was able to rediscover it during the pandemic. So I'm sure we all have stories like that, like the people that were, you know, I think I've talked about this before, you know, learned how to bake bread or garden and stuff during the pandemic. It's brought that out. But oh, my gosh, like, again, nobody I we just didn't even consider that we would still be talking about this so, so far in. But we are. Now I'm going to do the date covers. I'll probably speed this up because it's not anything um, interesting. about once you get the date dots down because it just really brings the spread together i'm gonna go in really fast and uh do the bills that i know i always have and i'm just gonna throw down a little bill dues for that um 
so yeah i also wanted to ask you guys i wanted to get some insight into what you guys like to do during the fall in one of my more recent videos i asked you all if you like fall and i got like resounding yeses everyone's really into fall which is awesome because i am too but i'm really curious to know what are your big fall activities like what is it like every single year you guys do this one thing or anything like that do you guys have something like that i um more recent tradition <laughs> that i have with my boyfriend is carving a pumpkin which i've literally never did until last year and now i'm like well we have to do this every year obviously that just has to happen every year we're going to do this now and that's it because it was so much fun <laughs> so i have that um and besides that my only like really big fall traditions are um going to starbucks a copious amount of times um to get pumpkin drinks or any other cafe local anything like that that has really good either pumpkin coffee drinks or pumpkin desserts or if it's really nice both <laughs> that is like my big thing that's like what i really look forward to okay and i'm gonna check my gonna check my Paydays for October. I can't believe we're all the way down here. Oh, it's three this month. That's really cool. Love when that happens. Do I have three in this kit? I do have three over here. So the 2nd, the 16th, and the 30th. 2nd, 16th, and 30th. Wow. I didn't even realize. Maybe it's going to be that kind of month. Nice. That's always fun. So I'm going to add in these right here. Um, yeah, so I'm really interested to know your any of your um big fall plans i kind of i've been saying for like honestly the past 10 years which is like well into my teens that i wanted to go to like one of those um scary haunted horror places because in philly there's the eastern state penitentiary and that's like a really big like scary old abandoned prison or whatever that got turned into a museum and like a little fright fest thing and that is really cool i do want to add some of this deco in here just because it's so stinking cute this one is gonna go right here already know oh or maybe i should bring it down here somewhere yeah i'll bring it down no nah, 20th like it right there um yeah so this just kind of makes that box null and void but i'm gonna sacrifice it because they're just so cute That's really cute right there. Yeah, so I would love to go to like one of those. I've wanted to go for so freaking long. It's not even funny, but just haven't got around to it yet. Oh, look at the strings. It says toasted marshmallow. I wish that was a thing. I don't think that exists, but it needs to. <laughs> Little pumpkin spice sticker. I never really use deco this much, but these are just so stinking cute. Uh, it's already put down some stickiness. I don't want to make my pages stick together. Maybe right here. Ah, uh, this is so cute, y'all. I'm going to just add all this. I think I need to. It's so adorable. This is going to be like the most decorative um, monthly spread I've done in a really long time. But I'm not mad about it. If I need to add another label and I can just pull it up. They're not too, too big, so it shouldn't be too hard. And I'm going to throw this iced coffee right. Nah, I don't like that. All right, y'all. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to make sure I go back and add in Breast Cancer Awareness Day to this spread because I can't Google it right now. And I do want to have that sticker down. And I came with it in the kit, so I definitely want to use it because that's really important. And yeah, how do you guys like this? I really love this one. It turned out so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love the colors. I love the Crush Pass kit. I'm gonna fill this in off screen because it's already been such a long video. I'm at like 26, seven minutes right now. So we'll see what I can get rid of in editing, but it's a really long video. And if anything, I will make sure to include the finished, completed spread in my November planner flip through. So stay tuned for that if you wanna see how it all comes together. 
And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram if you want to see uh, pretty much daily updates on my daily duo planner spreads, anything planner related. I love it. I do lots of stories lately. I do lots of posts. Love to interact with you all there. So follow me over on Instagram. I'll make sure to put it up on the screen. And that is at Coffee and Plan. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, guys.